Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to perform a lookup and look up and return the last value in a list or a range. So let's say for example we want to look up um, item 3 and we want to find out the last value. Usually when we're doing lookups, like for example when we're doing a, a VLOOKUP, let me go ahead and just type, maybe I'm, I'm looking for item 3, I'm just going to go ahead and type item 3 here. All right. So normally if we want to look up something, we would use, or I would use a VLOOKUP. And I'll just type VLOOKUP tab to complete that. I'm going to look up this value, and I'm going to look up in this table. I'm just going to select. I just maybe I just want the sales quantity, right? So I'll select sales quantity, and then comma. That's my table array. The column index. I want to bring back the second value, and I want to bring back the um, an exact match, right? So if I do that, it's going to give me the first item for uh, the first sales item, which is 490. That value. I'm going to press enter. And I got 490. But what I really wanted to do maybe here was get the last one, which is going to be 429. Now, there's actually a way you can do that, uh, not using VLOOKUP, but using VLOOKUP's older cousin, just the lookup command. And this is how it works. So I'm going to go delete that, type lookup. So here I have two ways that I can do the lookup. I'm going to use the first one where we have a lookup value, the lookup vector, and the result vector. I'm going to look up the value of 2, and I'll kind of explain that later on when I go through the uh, eva formula evaluator. Then put comma and the lookup vector. So for my lookup vector, I want to do this. I want to make this list of items equal to my looked up value here. Right? You can see here, after I've done that, if I select this, it will give me a range of values. So I'm going to execute that, press F9, and now execute that, and you'll see that it brings back a list of trues and falses. So the item 3 is in the first, for that first part of that lookup vector, item 3 is true. And for the fifth one, it should also be true. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The fifth one is true. And also the eighth one should be true. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The eighth one is true, right? So what we want to do is we want to wrap that under a calculation. Let me control Z to undo that. And I'm going to have this as a denominator. So it's going to be 1 divided by that amount. And so after I, that gets done, let me go ahead and execute that. Press F9. Oops, this is not the values that I wanted. Let me, go, let me control Z to undo this. I have to put these in parentheses. So I want to execute this command first and then divide it by 1. So if I highlight this again and press F9, You'll see what happens. We have a divide by zero error. The first one is not divided by zero error. So it's saying it turns those trues and falses into ones or the divide by zero. And the first one is one divided by one is one. So it gives me back that one. We also have a one here in the fifth place and another, and another one here in the eighth place because those are values that could be divided. Those trues and falses turn into zeros and ones. And so it gives you the ability to execute that one divided by the uh, range of values here. So let me control Z to undo that. And what I want to do now is I want to get my result vector. So I want to have the sales field be my results vector. So once it finds the item here, it's going to it's going to match the row place where it is and bring back that value. Now the reason why I have the number two here is what it's going to do, the lookup value is going to look and see does any of these match two. Of course, none of them will match two because there's there's the ones that only it's only going to either have a divide by zero or a one. So there's three ones here in the first, uh, the fifth, and the eighth place. So it's going to go, it's going to see the first one, and it's going to see oh it doesn't match one. It's going to see the second one, and see it doesn't match one. It'll see the third one, say, and sees that it doesn't match one. So in this case, the lookup value, if it doesn't find a match for the number two, it will bring back the largest value that is less than that, which is going to be the last one that it saw would be this number one here in and it'll bring back 429. So if I press Enter, you'll see that it brings back 429 here. So if I use the formula evaluator, let me go to the formula evaluator, which is under formulas, and click on the evaluate formula, you'll see that this is what it's really performing. Now A2 and A10 is going to look for H1, and it's going to bring back our values here. So it's going to look at A2 to A10 and see if it equals A3. It will bring back a series of trues or falses, and you see that our trues or falses are there. And after I click Evaluate, what it's going to do is it's going to start to do the division. 
it, if it's a true, it'll be 1 divided by true 1. It's going to turn that true into 1, so you have a 1. The false, it's going to turn into 0. 1 divided by 0 is going to give you a divide by 0 error. So let me click evaluate here and you'll see that. And once that's done, it's going to look at this number 2 and look at this range and see if any of these values here equal the number 2. If it doesn't, it's going to bring back the last value that was um, less than 2, and it's going to be this number 1 here. So that's the last number 1. So the last instance of 1 here is going to bring back uh, this row here. So it's going to look at that last value here, that 1 here, which is here, and this row setting here. And it's going to look at our result vector b2 to b10, and the corresponding last or that corresponding row here, it's going to bring back that value 429. So if I click Evaluate, you'll have 429 there. So that's how it works. So that's actually a fairly simple formula that we can do. So we're actually using a lookup function that is a little bit older than our VLOOKUP functions, but it serves its purpose here. So if we wanted to do a lookup on the last value in a range of cells, we can use this lookup function to look up the last value in a range here. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.